Now to Douglas County, where a nonprofit will soon begin tackling a seldom discussed but very important issue in our state, providing housing for adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Yeah, one group recently reported there are more than 20,000 adults living with caregivers over the age of 60 and at risk of being displaced. Connor McHugh went to Castle Rock today where there are plans to transform an old hotel into permanent housing. Keep going a little bit more. Yeah. With each scoop of flour, Matthew Brunn is one step closer to making the perfect cookie, a job he's become quite good at in the Wellspring Bakery. Well, I just like everything I make. For five years now, the 22-year-old has returned every Friday, gaining pride, purpose, and a paycheck with this part-time gig. You can see the pride in them when they do something that other people are willing to pay for, other people find value in. Located in Castle Rock, Wellspring Community serves adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities from five metro area counties. That includes programming, as well as jobs in their bakery and coffee shop. How many? Two. One thing they've always wanted to provide is housing, a need executive director Nicole DeVries sees every day. And the biggest concern that families and caregivers express is what's going to happen to my loved one when I no longer can care for them. That's why now the nonprofit will take over this old La Quinta made possible by the county and its American Rescue Plan Act funds. Wellspring Housing will convert it from a 63 unit hotel into a 42 unit apartment. DeVries says the goal is affordable, independent living with a 24 7 support staff. Some residents will be adults with IDD, others won't. It provides a sense of peace and assurance that their loved one is going to be cared for in a way that they would. Um, do so themselves. While the opening is still a year away, there are already more families interested than eventual rooms. Still, this small solution could have immeasurable impact for some. We know that this is just the first step, and so we are not going to stop here. Now, Wellspring hopes to begin some of these renovations in the coming weeks, and they say that process could take up to a year. In the end, they are hoping to open these doors come early or come late spring or early summer of next year. Karen? Connor, I just love everything about this. Uh, we know there's a lot of demand, as you were talking about just a few seconds ago. Only 42 units, so how are they going to choose who's going to be able to stay there? Well, Karen, a lot of that is still a work in progress with it being so early on, but Wellspring does believe it has room for some people within its programming as well as other people with IDD from around the metro area. And of course, they are going to save some units for people who are simply in need of affordable housing in this area. They say the whole idea here is to have a completely integrated community so that everyone can be together. Great story. Connor, thank you. And Connor is our Douglas County reporter. He would love to hear from you. So send him your story ideas by calling 303-863-TIPS. You can also email him directly at cbscolorado.com.